Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to You Can Do This. Today, you're gonna do Thai rolled ice cream. Thai rolled ice cream is ice cream base that's poured out over a large cold plate and it's scraped up into these little kind of tubes and it's plated in a cup with the kind of rolls going up. What do you need to do to make Thai rolled ice cream? You need a massive cold plate, which is a machine. Now, the old version of you can do this. When I was younger and naive, I would have idiotically tried to build one from the ground up. That's not gonna happen today. Because we're gonna use our little friend, dry ice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do this dry ice. We're gonna put it on the half sheet pans, and then we're gonna try to scrape it up. What I need to figure out is if there's any technique. Time to go to the official You Can Do This laptop. Ice cream base goes down. Fresh fruit that he's chopping up using the paint scrapers. It's gonna be spread out. Looks like it's relatively thin. And then he just rolls it up. And then he just stack it in the cup and that's it. And it's beautiful. Okay, got my dry ice. I'm gonna put it in here. I feel like I'm gonna need more dry ice. That's a lot. And I wanna get this as flat as possible. Oh, it's getting cold fast. Here's my question. Are we gonna have problems with this sticking? So here we have just some simple ice cream base. Um, I don't need to show you how to make ice cream base. That's not the point. The bottom is already starting to freeze over. That is a very good sign. Did I call it or didn't I call it? It's stuck. That move is not just for chopping, it actually breaks up the ice cream. Ah, it makes it a lot more malleable, the spread. Got it. Okay, we're just trying to get in the same ballpark, you know? I mean, realistically, to think that we're gonna be perfect and we're gonna get it as good as these masters, you're not gonna hit that in an afternoon. This could be a really fun, like, party activity. You know what I mean? Set it up for a bunch of kids. Don't let them do the dry ice part. We are frozen through on this guy right here. Am I gonna get the stick? That's what I'm worried about. Stuck, all right? So, let's remove it off the top, set it down, and to see if 30 seconds out here is gonna give us enough of a release on the bottom. Oh, look at that. Oh, started to roll at the end. You see that? Started to curve. So it's just about finding that timing. Let's try it now. Nope, doesn't want to roll there. Our last hope, too soft. What are we doing wrong? We got it to freeze. Now it's about how do we get it to roll. So I'm gonna start gathering it here again. Maybe it's this. Son of a I needed a bigger thing. I needed a bigger thing. Thai rolled ice cream. I'm kidding, don't do that at home. It's ice cream, this is for the children. I just needed a bigger god dang thing. Oh my god, oh my god. This guy, right? Earlier I was using the three inch, what is this, a four inch? This is a four and a half inch. Now it's working, now it's working. Okay, it's an equipment issue the whole time. Thai rolled ice cream, not the three inch, the <laughs> four and a half inch. That was the problem the whole time. There wasn't enough mass, right? When I had the three inches, it was too light. It just wanted to sit up. But the four and a half inch, the bigger one, created enough weight where it wanted to curl over and turn into that. That is how you make Thai rolled ice cream. Get a four and a half inch goddamn scraper. And as you notice in the progression of the video, you see life leave my body every time it fails. Look at this. So what have we learned? This, bad. This, good. Four and a half inch, directly on dry ice. 
scrape it out, take it off, let it sit for about another 20 seconds just so the bottom releases and it cools down just enough where we can scrape it and start rolling. I'm gonna chop these up, scrape it all together, spread it out. Try to get a nice even square, somewhat fully frozen through. Take it off, leave it for a second. Don't get too overzealous. All right, here we go. So now, and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, Thai rolled ice cream. Does Thai rolled ice cream taste any different? No. For me, it's not the ideal ice cream eating experience. This, for it to work, I gotta get it so cold that like it's a little brittle. When I think of ice cream, that's the last thing I want. You know, as you get here, it's falling to shards. I mean, is it a fun party trick? Yeah, have your kids do it. Have them make a mess. If you really love ice cream and you like the smooth and creaminess of it, this is what I don't like about this Thai rolled ice cream is it takes all the creaminess out. But I think it does suffer a little bit on the eating experience. Listen, this may be something how you like your ice cream. Ice cream varies. That's the beautiful thing about it, is we all have an opinion on ice cream, and it's all right. Everyone's right. This is about a personal experience. And for me, I just like regular ice cream. I don't like it brittle. For more videos like this, please click here. Keep going here and here. All right, so I have this basic shape. I'm gonna draw it all together like they did, and then they take it to the top.